welcome back to my channel and another Christmas design. So I have gone and filed off the previous design that I did over the five days. Just filed it down to the bottom layer again. And I'm going to use today my Urban Graffiti uh, gel. So I've got my top coat. I've got my red, which is a strawberry sorbet. And the silver is amazing. It's the Artemis. Uh, urban graffiti and I'm also going to use whatsapp nail decals decals I hope that's the right way an old brush of mine and then I'm also going to use some nail varnish this is just from next so first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to pop on some of my strawberry sorbet um, so I'm just brushing straight over that acrylic that I filed down and I will do more than one layer on this so that you can't see the bottom layer. Uh, messed up there, went on my skin. I'm not going to panic too much because all I will do is just make sure that I wipe that off before I put my hand in for curing. So there, mess, mess. Okay, so I'm going to do the red on my pinky, my middle finger, and my pointy finger absolutely love this red you can't really see it on the video but it does have like a shimmery shim shim shiru in it i don't know what to call it. it's like a it's like glittery but not too glittery if that makes sense but i love this this is like a proper red red i'll probably use this for valentine's day as well i am so bad at doing nail varnish on my own nails i suck at it i always have and i probably always will so the next we're going to pop over to that artemis i don't know how you pronounce it but i will link it below for you guys and um, this is honestly the most amazing glitter polish i have ever found be it just normal nail varnish or gel this one is so amazing i think it's because there's so much glitter in it and if you know me you know i am an absolute addict for glitter so anything sparkling is just amazing so i have struggled so much with this black friday sales to keep myself in check and not to just go and order a million and one new glitters temptation girlfriends temptation so i don't know why i took my time on the thumb there I, but you know it looks beautiful so that's the first coat so i've just gone and cured that in my lamp and then i'm going to put a second coat on and you can see after that second coat you can not even see anything underneath so this is a quick way for you to be able to just do a redesign yourself um, you can even do it with nail varnish. So if you have gone to your nail tech and you got tired of the design that was done or you didn't like it, I don't know. Um, use the emery board, file it down back to the base and then you can just pop some varnish on. I know I do have a few clients that, well, I've got one specific client that literally a day after I've done her nails, she's tired of the design already. Not so, Amelie. Um, so this is just a quick way for you to just what you can do file it down and just redesign on top of it if you really really want to if you really want to look at that silver goals like ah, there's no words to describe just how amazing that silver is I can't get over it when I pulled it out of the bottle when I received it I nearly had a panic attack um, I ordered gold then ex expect, expecting it to be the same, but it wasn't. There we go, all cured now, all done. So in with my little alcohol wipe, which I will also link down below for you. Um, the packaging that those that are now order comes in is in blue. So if you do order your own, just don't be worried if the link image doesn't look the same as the one that I've got there it's the exact same thing so wiped all of them off and now you can see at the bottom you can see the design but from the top you can't see it right so now we're going to go in with the what's up uh, nail decal so I'm going to do the stag um, those are the big ones and those are the tiny ones and then there's medium sized ones 
So I am going to attempt to using the middle size one, um, pulling it off completely instead of in bits. But hey ho, um, so pulling that off. Now some of you might ask why didn't I just stick that decal on my nail and just paint over it. Uh, that one is actually not going to lie completely flat on my nail. It will create a little bubble and then it won't look nice. So I've left this whole mission to get this onto my nail in for you guys. So you can see it is not as easy as what it's always made out to be in the videos. I had a little bit of a mare getting this on to make sure that the... What am I going to call them? They're not horns. What are they? Antlers. There we go. The brain caught up with the tongue. Um, so the antlers. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope that is the right word. If it's not pop a comment below and correct me um, but as you can see I'm having a mare trying to get it to be flat so that I can paint over it it was a bit of a struggle I've left it in so you guys can see not always that easy um, you can see it lifts up there in the corner so I'm gonna pull it off once again pull it off trying not to damage it because otherwise I can't use it obviously um, and then I realized if I put the neck bit right to the bottom then the antlers go really nicely on the curve and it's not so bad and it goes flat so now I'm just going to use my black nail varnish and I am going to pop that on um, over the decal obviously making sure that I don't go outside the, this is like coloring in do not go outside lines you can go a little bit but do not go outside the outer line <laughs> so just making sure that I get enough on there I will just mention this I did try this nail varnish with stamping it does not work that well because it is not pigmented enough so even though it looks super black there it's not pigmented enough to do stamping um, I've only got the orange one in that brand to the next brand that works I am now going to just do a little bit of an ombre with that glitter. I obviously needed some more glitter girls. So just putting it on my middle finger there. Just dabbing it on. Now if I used that brush to try and drag it all the way down to feather it out, the glitter would have gone everywhere, which is why I have my extra little brush. So all I'm going to do with the brush is I'm literally just going to feather some of that glitter down so that it's not all at the top and just spacing it out nicely so that it's not one big lump so I am very painful when I try and make sure the glitters are all in the right place because I don't want it to look shabby Nige so there you go look how pretty that looks that glitter is just that nail varnish gel polish I should say is amazing Right, so after I've done that, I needed to cure that. And then I'm going to go in and put another layer of my black nail polish on. So this is just normal nail polish, girls. This is not gel. It's just normal nail polish that I'm putting on there and then letting it dry. Just making sure I've covered everywhere and it's nice and pretty. Going to go in with some more of my glitter girls gotta have glitter um, I just wanted that base to be a little bit more glittery so pop the glitter on and then after I've got it in all the little nooks and crannies in the back I will then just go in with a brush again and feather them out so putting some more on just making sure it's everywhere and then going with a brush and just feathering them out and just making sure that it's covered everywhere very very light touches okay I did it too harshly in the beginning and then got frustrated and chucked a brush at a wall because I couldn't get it right yes I get frustrated like that so there you go so now I've cured that and now I'm going to pull off the stack now girls after I've done this video, I then learned that you really should paint it on and while your polish is wet, 
then you need to pull off your decal um, same for when you do lines but luckily for me it wasn't ruined so that is that there look how pretty it looks just checking that it's dry last year christmas i was crazy about uh ooh, unicorns <laughs> squirrels is the word i was looking for this year it's tags all i'm going to do now is using my urban graffiti top coat and i'm just going to top coat all of my nails um, making sure that i seal everything in quite nicely so that i don't lose any of my design oh i love that stack it really looks cute doesn't it let me know what you think about the stack in the comments below like it or don't like it let me know what is your favorite christmas animal like i said last year was squirrels for me this year seems to be stags i kind of jump between stags and foxes i don't i do not know why let me know in the comments what you feel your christmas animal is look how amazing that thumb looks with just pure artemis i don't know if that's pronounced correctly but with the urban graffiti glitter polish can't go wrong with that and there you go girls that is the full design right there i am absolutely in love with this and i think that will be my christmas nails come christmas um, super easy design um, and it's a redesign so thank you ever so much for watching Thank you for all of your support. Give this video a lovely like and subscribe. And come and join me on some social media. Okay, bye now.